All right, moving right along here with this little project I have going. And I have some of the bracing on. I have the top repaired. So I have three cracks repaired, at least three of that big chunk in the top is now put back on there. And most of the bracings are on. As you can see, it is fully incomplete, but it's coming along. And next, I'm going to finish the bracing. I have the bridge plate here, as well as the the rest of the bracings here for the bottom I'll go like this. Like that. I have this little matching popsicle stick for here. This thing over here. And yeah, it's been really fun to do. And I'm super excited to play this guitar, even though I am a few steps away. And I think the harder stuff is yet to come, but. It's coming along and it's getting exciting. I think I'm just gonna leave the top just like this, but I'm super excited still. So today I'll glue the rest of those on. Actually gonna also add a piece up here as well. I <clears throat> sanded the, the bottom I also sanded the back, I should say the, I sanded the edges here and the block so that when I want to fit the top on, they'll be nice and um, smooth to connect with. I'm not sure if I, I'm going to get an opinion because there's five braces in the back, but most modern designs have four. So I'm not sure if I want to take these off and put one back in the middle there. I'm not sure. I might just leave it as is, but I'll also get an opinion. But yeah, so this is sanded and I also, I also um, cleaned out the dovetail joint. So, that is clean and ready for glue when I'm ready to do that. I have the shims and that's a couple steps away because after gluing the braces, I then need to mount the bridge on the, on the top, which, where is that bridge? I don't know where I put it. Uh, Somewhere, I know where I put it. So, this needs to be sanded down and then I'll mount this. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna mount it like three and a half inches from the sound hole. It's approximately, maybe four and a quarter. Something along those lines. That's basically what it's gonna be. And then um, at that point, I put it together. No, I think I put this on after I put it together. Pretty sure. So I'll probably put it together next. Mount the bridge and then the neck, which is gonna be which is the most uh, complicated for me at least. But it's coming along. And so as far as I can tell, there's, there's finishing the bracing, putting it together, putting the bridge on, setting the neck, and then fretwork and stuff like that. So that's, uh, I think, what I'm looking at here. So moving quite quite nicely and it's been a lot of fun i actually find myself like not wanting to put this back together because i've enjoyed this process so much um, really enjoying the bracing and that whole uh, adjustment of of fitting them correctly which 
probably not doing as well as a master luthier, if you can imagine. I've never done this before, so... But it's really fun, and it's going to sound great. It's going to sound great. I'm so excited still. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, an update for now. I'm um, going to put some bracing on today and keep going. So... Let's check in here. We got this top all together. And all the braces are on. All the braces are on. It's a thing of beauty. I'm super psyched. There it is. New brace pattern. Overlaid over the old one. Everything is together. It's really sturdy, solid, super exciting. Now my next step is to connect the pieces and put this thing together. But I don't have the clamps. I don't have the spool clamps, so you either have to buy them or make them and Looks like I can save about $100 by making them. And I'm kind of interested in doing that. So I'm going to make them. So I have just gotten back from the Home Depot. And I have a dowel here, like a 
curtain rod or not a curtain rod but a closet uh, coat hanging rod and I have some threaded threaded rod here that I'm going to cut into eight inch pieces and cut these into one inch pieces and create some spool clamps, 24 of them, so I can clamp this thing up around the edge. Super excited. And that's my next step. So I'm um, going to start cutting and see if I can do it right. I'm also going to add some cork, some cork on the on the spool clamps so that it doesn't, you know, scuff the guitar. This one I'm not so worried about, but if I do another one, I am going to do another one. Um, you know, you want to protect it from being clamped on the wood. So, so that's what where this is at right now. It's getting real and uh, super fun. So, here we go. <laughs> 